Hey everyone, it's Gem and Jess, and in this video I will be doing a whip and chat, also known as a work in progress and chat. If you're new to my channel, then welcome, and if you're not, then welcome back. This is the diamond painting I will be working on, and it's called Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and it's from Diamond Art Club. This canvas is a 22.3 inch by a 31.5 inch, and has a licensed image on it that was created by the artist Maria Abagnale. Here's a photo of the original image, and I'm literally just brand new starting it, so can you see that? First of all, let me turn this off. This might help. <laughs> That's the original image. It's kind of big. Um, I'm going to be starting on, let me see, right here, in the very bottom corner right here, okay? So there's the image. Um, I hope everyone has had a great start of the week so far. Let's see, um, if you would like to join me with one of your work in progress projects, please do. I'll be using my new pin from Shimmering Canvases, and it is so pretty. Stunning! Don't hate the player, hate the game. So, so pretty. Um, and I'll be using my little Bella Ardina Cole tray, and I will also be using these um, micro blue dots or micro dots um and my round mesh ruler i will be linking this diamond painting kit and all the accessories where i got them down below in the description box for you um and let's see i think that is it i think that's the basics i'm gonna turn my light pen on guys because it's like 1 30 in the morning where i'm at um yeah so oh and disclaimer i tend to use swear words in my videos so fair warning and what else? Um, oh, and I might, I mean, probably not, but I might puff here and there on my e-cig, okay? So if that kind of stuff bothers you, then at least now you know, and you have the option to now change the video. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I hope everyone's having a great start to the week so far. Had a great weekend last weekend. My week was like totally uneventful. Well, the last week anyway, and weekend. Um, the only thing that I was kind of stoked on was I finished my Bumblebee Diamond Painting Kit. Um, the one that I was working on last Whip and Chat video. And posted the, the review video and the time lapse. Which I was stoked on that because honestly you guys, I, those time lapse videos are a pain in the ass to do. I'm just saying. It's like, ugh, you know. I mean, I like watching them. Not, not mine, but like, um, other, you know, time lapse videos for Diamond Painting Kits. And it's like satisfying to me. I don't know it's weird, but but to do them, it's like so time consuming. It sucks. So I'm glad that's over with. But that and that diamond painting kit immediately pissed me off on it. And once I like something's wrong with the kit, I, it totally kills my whole vibe on it. You know? Are you guys like that too? I don't know. I've always been like that. Like if I'm missing a color or there's no missing adhesive or it's you know. Uh, creased or you know something's wrong with it anything that's wrong with it if once that happens I'm like I hate the I don't hate the painting I just like want to get it done and over with and then it seems like it takes forever to finish because the vibe's killed you know what I'm saying but yeah so yeah I'm glad I got that over with um I was really hoping to post an unboxing video too but I'm still freaking waiting for that painting like so annoying it was shipped out a long time ago too or it's, yeah at least like four or five days i think um you know it's like okay dude like i don't know i guess i gotta um tell you in the unboxing video what happens about the shipping right but i can't wait to get that freaking kit though because i have a sweet deal for you guys once i do post that video and it's like okay come on you know so I had to just start this one because this is also, I'm, I'm also doing this one for another reason. Um, I did unbox this painting, right? Because, let me get a color. Sorry, guys. Because um, I'm doing this for like a, like a comparison video project thing, you know? <coughs> so uh, I did not, so, but I had literally, I have this kit and the mandala painting that I, where's the, oh, stupid, sorry. <laughs> that I just unboxed and I'm not gonna do that one. I don't want to do that one for a while. It's huge, you know So I had no choice but to do this one um, 
sorry guys, let me get a color and start this here. Where is U823? Okay. So yeah, I'm just waiting for that stupid freaking thing, or kit, or whatever. Hopefully it'll be here soon, but... But yeah, so, um, that, and I also started my online product catalog, which, by the way, is a freaking nightmare, you guys. Dude, it's so time-consuming, and I'm dreading it. I only put, like, four things up so far, like... You need the title and the price and the description and this and that. It's like, dude, seriously, why can't I just be rich and hire someone to do this for me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nightmare. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Let me get closer. Hold on. I hope that's better. I don't know. Sorry if it's not, but I need a little bit of light here. Okay. Um. Also, I want to apologize again for my little rant video last whip and chat. But thank you guys for letting me vent. This video, though, is going to be way cooler. Why, do you ask? Why is this video going to be cooler? Because. Because <laughs> I said so. No, I'm just joking. Uh, because. First thing is. Okay, well, last women chat, I did, like, those those fall questions, right? And, like, all my answers sucked. Like, it was either no. My answer was either no or a stupid answer. I mean, because those questions were just, like, kind of weird to me. So, I decided that I'm going to do my own Halloween questions this video. And it's not going to be fall themed it's going to be like literally halloween themed only and i invite any creator to do these as well if you would like to i'll type them all out in the description down below as well in case you would like to do these questions on your own channel so that's another reason so that's a reason why this video is going to be cooler than last whip and the second reason is i have a giveaway announcement I don't know why I always sing to you guys in my videos. I'm really sorry for that. <laughs> but yeah. So um, you're going to have to watch some of this video. And then I'm going to stop some minutes or time in this video and let you know the rules. Okay? If you would like to enter. But I will say before you even think about entering this con giveaway contents contest that I'm doing, you have to be subscribed to my channel. And I do check. And I'm psycho about checking that stuff. Because I have been there, done that with people that creep in to just win free shit in giveaways. Like, not happening to my peeps, homie, you know? So, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, you have to be subscribed to me. And what are you going to win? Actually, what is the reason, Jessica, that you are doing this giveaway? My reason is because I can. And also because when I was on my three-year hiatus, nobody dropped me. Like, unsubscribed. So, why not? I mean, I appreciate you guys, and I want to prove it. I'm the type that proves my what I say, you know, that kind of thing. So here is the proof in the pudding right here. I'm going to hook you guys up. Well, the winner's up, and there's going to be two. If I didn't say that before, I'm sorry. So, yeah, basically, you guys are going to win diamond painting accessories, certain things. But I'm bougie. I'm a bougie bitch, like, straight up. I'm not going to front. I know I, I can't afford to be, but I, I mean, I wear Louis Vuitton purses, like, I, long hair, don't care, call it materialistic, I don't give a shit. Like, that's me, okay? So, if you think I'm gonna give you some unbougie stuff, you you got me messed up. So, you're gonna get hooked up. And I, I don't know, like, one winner will get, you, both winners will get different things. You guys aren't both gonna get the same stuff, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, let me find another color real quick. Um, I'll do this one, you know, three. So, yeah. You probably were, are going to get some special, like, DP with sparkler drills, maybe some washi tape, maybe a pen, maybe not. Okay, it's just, it's going to be a, a surprise. And because this is a just because, um, what was that number? 803. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is like a just because giveaway. It's not going to be anything too crazy because I want to save that if I ever get to a thousand subscribers, you know, for that giveaway contest. So, so you guys will get some cool stuff. And... Yeah, I'll let you know. If you want to enter, I'll let you know what to do. But you got to watch this whip and chat for a little while, okay? So, yeah. I love you guys. FYI. You guys are just the best. Um, okay, so, yeah. Now, I'm going to do be doing these Halloween theme questions. Because tis the season. And the other questions that I did sucked. Or, actually, my answers sucked. Not the questions. So, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to start doing that now, and then I'll stop um, after a few or so and tell you guys the rules for the giveaway, okay? Um, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. First one, sorry, I had to write these down because as you should know, if you know me, I'm fried. 
Okay, first question. What's the eeriest location you've ever visited and did you ex What's the eeriest location you've ever visited and did you experience anything paranormal there? I would have to, I don't know about eerie, like, well, yeah, it was kind of eerie, but it was more like a surreal experience. And I think I've already said this in a video before. Um, and that would probably be the Pearl Harbor location. Like, you know, where, what is it that the Arizona or I don't know, wherever that ship is that got bombed when those Japanese people, um, you know, bombed us during World War II or whatever. Um, it was... It was pretty freaking eerie, I will say. Like, I was only 16, and honestly, I didn't really think or care about that stuff. Like, at 16, all I wanted to do was, like, go party and get with boys, like, literally. <laughs> but when I went to Hawaii for my 16th birthday, because that's where I was born, um, I visited the Pearl Harbor spot, because my grandma, who took me, wanted to go. Like, and I'm so grateful that I went, or for her, that I went, because if it was my choice, hell no, I would never have gone there. Because, like, I didn't even give a shit about history back then. I'm like, what? Who cares? Boring. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but now that I'm older and, like, am really interested about history and everything now, like, I'm so grateful to her for taking me, like, but, yeah, that place was crazy. I mean, it was beautiful. I mean, you're in Hawaii, you know, but they have, like, the oil still coming out of the ship from, like, you know, when it got bombed. It's, like, crazy. And, and they have the memorial thing. It's super special. It's kind of spooky, but not really. It's just, like, just uh, eerie, I guess. Like, I don't know. Like, you could feel this heavy energy. If That's, like, the best way to explain it right there, you know? So, I guess it'd be Pearl Harbor. And, no, I didn't experience anything paranormal there. So, okay. Uh, two, if you would spend the night alone in any haunted house mansion, <laughs> which one would you choose and why? First off, no. Like, no. I'm never going to ever choose to stay the night in a haunted anything um, that's crazy, but I will tell you, my mother did this, and I literally thought she was insane. Um, she went to that Louisiana mansion, um, what's it called? I wrote it down, I wrote it down. It's one of the most haunted houses in the nation, I guess, supposedly. The Myrtle Plantation, I think, have you guys heard of it? Like, she, she stayed the night there and did this, like, bed and breakfast tour thing. I'm like, are you freaking high? Like, what is wrong with you? it would be fun and I went with my boyfriend you know I'm like dude I'm like well, okay well did you see anything did anything happen no not really it was kind of creepy and I'm like dude my luck I would go and some crazy shit would go down you know like my mom is insane for doing that I, I could never I would never so that's my answer um what's the spookiest urban legend or folklore tale from your region and do you believe there is any truth to it oh yes okay so so I live let's just say in the area or my region is kind of by Yucca Valley or the Joshua Tree National Park. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it, but it's in like Southern California or whatever. Uh, let me get another color, guys. Hold on. Uh, 336, right? 336. Yeah. I'm so blind right now. Sorry, guys. 336. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Yucca Valley, Joshua Tree National Park. You guys like list first, the website alone has a topic on this, like a whole article on this by itself about the weird disappearances and deaths in Joshua Tree slash Yucca Valley, right? And I don't know. I, I do believe it's true. Like, because the legend is there's this this Yucca man, right? It's like an eight foot Sasquatch, kind of like Bigfoot thing, right? Like, I don't know about all that. Okay, if it's not something like that, then there's a serial killer living out there, bro, because straight up, even just last year, I think it was, they found the remains. It was, like, a big story over the news. I think her name was Lauren Cho. Rest in peace. But she, like, literally got walked out of her rental. And, like, her boyfriend at the time, or that was there at the time, said it was, like, she just disappeared into the mist. And her remains, she was missing, and her remains were found, like, a year later or something. Like, and it's happened over and over and over again. Like, these hikers that go to Joshua Tree National Park just disappear, and then they'll have the dogs, they'll have, like, all these search parties, air, you know, the drones, the dogs, the freaking everything, and then they'll find the remains, like, you know, where they already checked or something, like, something creepy, like, how did they miss that, you know, I don't know, I just really think something is going down, not just in Je Joshua Tree National Park, but literally in all national parks, you guys, if you've guys seen those uh, missing 411 movies, go see it, because 
that shit blew my mind it was so scary like i probably never want to visit visit a national park ever again because of that but i don't know i really think if there's no yucca man there's something because it's just too too so many deaths you guys like and disappearances there's still missing people to this day that disappeared from yucca valley and um joshua tree you know like fyi so if you ever plan on going there fair warning dude just be careful you know um okay so next what's the scariest movie you, you've ever seen oh wait no no no. sorry that's different <laughs> i mean it's the same question but i want to say that one later okay what's the most memorable memorable halloween prank you're you've either witnessed or that you played on someone oh my gosh you guys are gonna think i'm terrible okay so when i was in seventh grade i think it was I brought this uh, friend over, like, she had never stayed the night at my house before, and it was Halloween or whatever, so I'm like, what, how old was I, 12, I think I was 12, 11 or 12, yeah, I was 12, it was 7th grade, and this chick, Christina, I was friends with at the time, came over, so she had this brilliant idea, my parents went out or something, I don't know, my parents always left me alone at home with my sister to babysit, like, my parents sucked, <laughs> like, literally, anyways, they went out to party or whatever the hell they did, and... It was us, just us at home. And Christina's like, oh, let's let's prank all people. Because back then, that was like the thing to do. We didn't have internet and stuff, you know. So, so I'm like, okay. So she, she had this brilliant idea, dude, like to call people. And this isn't just a regular prank call. This is like, like people, like she would call them someone, like a random number, and pretend like, is my mommy there? there's a scary guy in the house, you know, like, obviously, like, someone's gonna trip out and be like, what the hell, like, and call the cops, well, that's exactly what happened, dumbass got me in so much trouble because of that, um, yeah, like, she got all these people scared that she had prank called, I didn't do it yet, like, I, I was about to do it, but then the cops showed up at my house, I was like, oh, and they're like, uh, are your parents home, and I'm like, oh, great, no, you know, but then luckily, my parents pulled up, they're like, what's going on, you know, like, I'm like, oh, shit, I'm gonna get in so much trouble, and they're like, uh, someone called saying that there was a man in the house. Da, da, da. So basically, luckily we didn't get in trouble by the cops, but I got my ass beat and she was never, oh, sorry about that. My fridge makes, likes to make noises and she was never allowed to say the night again at my house. Like, I felt like I was so mad at her. That girl always got me in trouble growing up, you guys. Like, seriously, now that I think about it. So yeah. Please don't judge me or hate me for this, but that was me. Oh, I got some EBs going on right here. Check these out. Oh, they're so beautiful. Aren't those pretty? Can you see them? I hope so. Great. Now I need another pen with, like, another wax thing. Because you can't use, like, these glue dots on um, EBs. Sorry, guys. I wasn't prepared for that. I know I have, like, a wax somewhere. Here it is. He only use this blue wax. Okay. So yeah, that's a prank I was involved with, unfortunately. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, oh, I don't want this one. <sighs> uh, no. Don't I have an empty one? Like, wow, that was loud. Sorry. Sorry, guys. God dang. Okay, so next one. What was your favorite Halloween costume as a child? I think... Gosh, it's kind of a tie, I think. I really liked my kitty cat costume. Because I had, like, the tights and the tail and the makeup nose and everything. But I think I liked way more my... Yeah, I'm going to do the, the kitty cat costume. Oh, ooh, how extravagant, right? <laughs> Not really. But, um, I don't even know how old I was. Like, six or seven. I have no idea. I had shitty costumes, now I think about it. The only cool ones I had was later in life, when I was, like, a teenager. But, so, yeah, I guess my kitty cat costume, I don't know, nothing crazy. Um, have you ever had a paranormal experience? Okay, this is, um, I had to, like, Google this, because what is that, like, have I seen a ghost? And I guess it means, um, a paranormal experience is an event or ability that is considered to be unusual or unnatural and cannot be explained by science or natural forces. So, I had to, like, see examples of paranormal experiences. No, I've never seen a ghost, at least that I can remember or think of. So, no, none of that stuff, like, but I will tell you guys, I have had precognitive dreams, and that is considered a paranormal experience, and I mean, like, my whole life, right? And, yeah, so, which is, like, dreams that 
like I'll, I'll have a dream of something that's about to happen or like a future event that I don't know is going to happen yet, right? It first happened to me that I can remember when I was 16. And <laughs> this is going to sound stupid as hell, right? But I had a boyfriend at the time and it was like a guy I was with like four years, basically all through high school. And I had this dream, I'll never forget it, that he was cheating on me basically with a redhead, <laughs> right? Like super random, I thought, I thought. So the next day, the very next day, so I wake up with this weird dream and normally I don't remember my dreams, but I remember every precognitive dream I always remember so clear. So I go to school the next morning, all of a sudden, Daniel, that was my ex-boyfriend, or the boyfriend at the time's name, wasn't at school. I'm like, okay. And my best friend wasn't at school. And my best friend had red hair, okay? Her name was Kitty. Like, I should have known. Like, sorry. Not sorry, but that was her real name. Like, stripper status name. Like, crazy, right? Sorry, I don't mean if any of that's your name, but it is what it is. That's what I think. <laughs> so... And then after school, I see them walking up to, because there was always like the same spot we would go to after school to wait for our parents to pick us up or whatever. All of a sudden, we're at the spot, me and my other couple friends, and they walk up together after school. And I'm like, what the, f you know, I'm like, where are you guys coming from? Where have you been? Like, why are you guys together? Like all these questions. And I just knew in my gut they had effed around, you know, they hooked up. Like, I just knew it, not just because of the dream. But the dream was the trippiest part. But just like, you know, I don't know if you any women out there have had this feeling in their stomach when they know their men have, you know, cheated on them or whatever. But I get it every time, right? Sure enough, like, they denied it, denied it, denied it. Because I, of course, was, like, freaking out on them. Like, what, you guys, you know, hooking up? What's going on? Them? Until finally Kitty admitted it, like, three months later. After me and Daniel had broke up. Because we used to break up and get back together all the time. You know, it was high school. It was, like, stupid. So, she finally tells me, oh, yeah. She, like, thought it was funny that she effed my my dude. Like, like, um, are you serious? To me, this is not a laughing matter, ma'am. And we are not friends anymore. Basically, I cut her off after that. Clearly. <laughs> so, yeah. That was the first precognitive, whatever you want to say, dream, right? Um, But I kind of just, like, blew it off. Like, okay, whatever. Then I had a dream. I mean, this is like just a few. I'm not gonna tell you everyone I've had because I've had so many of you guys. I've had a dream where I used to, oh, I started having dreams a lot. This was like a long time ago, okay? That I kept getting arrested, and sure enough, boom, I, I ended up getting arrested and going to jail. Then I had a dream, um, what was the re most recent one? I think it was something to do like with my stomach. Like, I'm not completely clear but I just remember I like cut open my stomach or something and then like I literally two days later I found out I had to have surgery in my stomach like, it was just crazy you guys so yes I guess that would be like the paranormal experiences I've had because I can't really think of anything else that is like an example so that's my answer okay um uh, now I'm gonna do the giveaway a uh, rule announcement if you guys watched this far let me find my color 6012 okay um Okay, so if you guys want to enter the giveaway, first, obviously, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Second, um, you need to comment down below in this video's comments which you prefer, either bracelet, earrings, or necklace. I know that's weird, but there's a reason for this, I promise, okay? Um, so yeah, just put down in the comment section what you like better. If you like earrings better, if you like to wear bracelets more, like whatever. Okay, and you have until October 27th. I think that's a Sunday. I hope it is. Um, uh, to comment or enter the giveaway or whatever. And I will be announcing the winners in my next Whip and Chat video, which will be posted on Monday um, after that. So, what, the 28th or whatever. Okay, August. Or August. Jessica, hello. <laughs> October 28th. I'll be announcing the winners here on YouTube during the next, or that uh, Whip video, okay? Um, so, yeah. Those are the rules, so just make sure you, and if you want to enter, to comment below what you like best, and do it before the 27th, uh, the cutoff day or whatever. 6012. Okay, guys. And you, I'm, like, so excited because I love doing giveaways, even though I've only done a couple. Like, I'm obsessed. And if I ever get to my 1,000 subscriber one, oh my gosh, you guys. 
it's gonna be so fun i just i mean i hope that happens but you never know it might not but this one you guys are gonna get some really bougie pretty cute diamond painting accessories things items whatever you want to call them okay mm. okay so there's this announcement okay all right back to the questions uh halloween questions do you prefer trick-or-treating or handing out candy <laughs> handing out candy now i mean back then like obviously i wanted to go out and trick-or-treat and stuff but now i'm like such a lazy ass like no thank you i'm good and then like having to look cute and dress up and no like i'm not the party animal i used to be just saying oh i need to get this i'm gonna have to probably change these diamond art club stickers aren't my friend like look they're all coming off already cute Actually, I'm just going to take it off because the number's underneath it anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. Handing out candy. Have you ever visited a haunted location? Yes. I have. I actually visited a haunted castle uh, in Scotland. Oh, my God. It was so cool. I visited a few castles, but one was haunted. And it was called the Glamis Castle. It's supposed to be, like, one of the most haunted ones in Scotland, too. Um, it, that castle's been there since, like, the 14th century, you guys. It's freaking hella old. Like, the walls were so thin, and the rock stairway things were, like, so steep. It was, like, suffocating almost. Like, But, yeah, supposedly the story is is that there's, like, nine ghosts there. One that even plays with the devil himself, or gambles, you know, plays cards in the basement. Or the dungeon, whatever it's called, um, with the devil himself. Like, I didn't see any ghosts or anything, but it was so cool to see. Like, I love, love history. I love ancient history. I love medieval history. Like, that was so freaking fun. So yeah, I have visited a haunted location. Did you ever get into any mischief on ha any Halloween night during your life? Oh god, yeah. Um, well, besides the stupid prank call thing. Well, that wasn't a Halloween night though. Oh uh, yeah, I think it was. But I remember when I dated my future ex-husband, I didn't know it at the time. Um, I was like in 8th grade. I went trick-or-treating with him and his best friend Mitch. And it, I think it was just me by myself. I don't remember if someone else was with me, but... They, like, we went around trick-or-treating the neighborhood, and they would go after and smash their pumpkins. Like, it was kind of messed up, now that I think about it. Like, making a freaking mess everywhere, you know? But, and destroying people's pumpkins. But, like, we were stupid kids, you know? And they were probably drunk anyways. Honestly, they most likely were. Because my ex-husband was a huge alcoholic. Since, like, I've known him, and that was, like, 13. So, yeah. Pretty sure he was wasted. So, yeah, I guess that. Sorry. Sorry to tell those neighbors back then. <laughs> Um, let's see, next one is, do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> Cute, uh, I guess. I hate the word ghost, though. I like to say spirits. I feel like ghost is so childish and, like, stupid. I don't know why, but, yes, I believe in spirits for sure. Especially, like, I didn't before I was, like, an adult, but now, for sure, there's just, yeah. Yes, I do believe in them. Um, what's your favorite Halloween party you've been to? <laughs> Uh, none really like I guess the only thing one I really stands out is one at a trailer park when I was like 21 I was like recently divorced and like got to do whatever I wanted for the first time so I guess that one like and I looked really hot I dressed up as a cat again clearly I have a obsession with dressing like a cat I love cats though I don't care they're so cute <laughs> so I guess uh trailer park trash Halloween party was my favorite <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Have you ever lived in a haunted house or knew someone that did? If so, what paranormal activity was seen? Oh, yeah. In high school, my high school home was totally, totally haunted. It was on an ancient burial ground. But it wasn't, like, scary to, to me and my sisters and parents. Like, I call it the halfway house because my dad, his wife, my stepmom, like, all his, all of her, his, all of her, um, brothers and sister are tweakers. Like, and every time they go to jail... They'd come out and pretend to be clean for a little bit. And my dad would always let them live with us. So I fucking hated it. Like, literally, it was like the halfway house. Like, all these meth heads living with us. Like, I seriously, our house always, always had, I swear to God, you guys, like, at least five people living there. At least. It sucked. Like, I mean, it was fun sometimes, but it was also, like, too much sometimes, you know? I don't know. And then, like, every time they would relapse, they'd leave. But it was, like, she has see five brothers i think and a sister like way too many siblings in my opinion like and they were all on mess like it was crazy so we would always hear um someone walking upstairs because it was a two-story house right and nobody would be up there right 
or our TV would, in the living room would always turn on by itself or like just like weird things like that. But I do know the one on the corner, the house on the corner in that neighborhood was bad haunted because there was never a family that lived there longer than a year. I swear to God, it was always for sale. We would always trip on that too. Like the house has to be super sketch, you know, like, so yeah, I have lived in a haunted house before. Or at least I think I did. Um, what's the most unusual thing that's ever happened to you on Halloween night? Speaking of that house, I'll never forget this one Halloween night. I think it was, it was at midnight, Halloween night, full moon. Okay. And there was a huge earthquake. I mean, it wasn't like the biggest one I've been in, but it was pretty big to where I felt it longer than like a minute. And I was so scared. That was creepy. But that's honestly the only thing I can really think of. I know it's not too crazy, but that would be the most unusual thing I remember happening to me on a Halloween night. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Um, chocolate wise? Reasons. They're like those dark chocolate covered caramels. Obsessed. Um, uh, but unchocolate wise, it would be any like sweet and sour straws, you know, like the sweet tart straws, the cherry straws, or um, or even like the ones with the sour stuff on it like i'm obsessed with sweet and sour candy for sure not too sour though like where it's like burning your taste but it's like so yeah that would be my favorite halloween candy probably um and the last one is where is it i thought i had more questions there to write down oh well what movie scary movie scarred you for life <laughs> oh this is gonna sound so dumb okay that movie aliens was the journey weaver it came out like in the 80s i think you guys my parents are so freaking e my mom's evil dude like so i'm like i'll never forget this i was five years old living in washington with my parents my dad was always gone because he was in the military and my mom's like in the living room watching about to watch a movie and i'm like mom what are you doing like being this cute little innocent child what are you doing mom she's like oh, i'm about to watch a movie you want to watch it with me i'm like okay it was aliens, bro. I'm five. I literally had nightmares for two weeks straight. Cried every night. Had to sleep with my mom every night like a little baby. It scarred me for life so bad that I couldn't watch it again until I was like 23. And even then, I was still covering my eyes halfway, like almost over half uh, the time of the movie. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even that scary. You know what I mean? Now that I see it later. But, dude, I it fucking traumatized me. Like, I, I straight up, like... In the most intense way, like, <clears throat> I know that's kind of funny now, but back then, I, like, no, just no. I was having, like, panic attacks over that five. Like, my mom does that to their five-year-old little kid. Like, thanks, mom. Like, good looking out. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, that would be the movie that scarred me for life. And it, I still won't watch it. Like, I'm still like, no, I'm cool. I'd rather go do something else. Like, I don't care how chicken I look, you know? <laughs> so those are the 15 there are only 15 qu halloween questions um that i took upon myself to do or to find and answer for you guys i thought those were way more better um like i said any creator can do that as well and yeah how long have i been on here um only 33 minutes i don't care it's gonna be a short one check it's like almost 2 a.m or it probably is 2 actually yeah it's almost 2 a.m i really need to get to bed um sorry about that but um i will be linking um i know i said this in the beginning of the video but i will be linking all this stuff down below um don't forget to comment down below also if you like earrings necklaces or bracelets better if you want to enter the giveaway in the comment section put put which one you like the best and i think that is all. Oh, and I have, okay, the video is coming up. The unboxing, whenever the dang kit gets here. Um, what else? I'll be doing another whip and chat, obviously, to announce um, the winner's next whip and chat. And I might, I think I have a mail haul, maybe, and something else. Um, well, regardless, I don't want to tell you everything that's coming up. You're just going to have to find out. Okay, so yeah, that's, really, that's all the videos I have planned coming next, uh, this coming week or whatever, or this week. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching my whip and chat. I love you guys the best. Please don't forget to enter the giveaway if you'd like to. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!